I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. This is Robert Scorpio, Mrs. Price. How do you do? Pleasure. What are you doing here tonight? You dress so nicely, too. Oh, thank you. Uh, I came by to say goodbye to Hutch. I heard that they're moving him to a prison hospital tomorrow morning. Yes, that's right. He's well enough now. Well, I didn't want him to leave without my saying goodbye. <laughs> Robert, I hope you don't mind waiting for me for a few minutes. I can't prepare for this. If you'd like to wait in the lounge, there's some magazines for you to read. Thank you. I'll just be a minute. Sure, I'll take your time. Rob, what a bizarre place to see you. Small world. Please don't tell me you're visiting the sick and infirm. It's going to blow my whole concept of humanity. As a matter of fact, I am here with someone who's doing just that. World is small, excuse me. Uh, I'm here to see Hutchins. And so we want you to know what the procedure is going to be as your case comes close to the trial. Well, just get me to the trial on time, right? That's all that matters now, anyway. Oh, Laura, hello. Come in. Sure, sure. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Dr. Ramsey. Hi. Hi, how are you? What are you doing here all dressed up? Oh, well, uh, I came to say goodbye, and this is my saying goodbye outfit. Oh, looks nice. Dynamite, thank really. You. And thank you so much for coming. Well, I couldn't very well let him ship you off without so much as a word. I want you to know that whatever lies ahead for you, we won't lose touch. I hope not. No chance. Are you kidding? We have too many memories between us from last summer. Oh. I'm... I'm so happy that you feel that way. I, I know that I do. I... You know, it's amazing to me, after all you two have been through, that you can still end up friends. Yeah. Well, I guess it isn't easy for an outsider to understand, but uh, I don't have to. Yeah. Well. I know it's not going to be easy for you, Hutch. Yeah, probably not. You say that uh, you're going to have to go to prison. And you're probably going to have to serve some time, but I want you to know that I'll come and visit you, if, if I possibly can. So, uh, listen, how come the two of you are here together all dressed up? You going out tonight or what? Well, sure, you know us, the Bobsy Twins. <laughs> the, the Bobsy Twins? Bob but you know the Bobsy twins. Come oh, on. I mean, they're way before your time. They're even a couple of minutes before mine. Yeah. All right, but Well, this is a very literary reference for me. I always told you you, you read too much. Yeah. Well, you're right. Little knowledge is really dangerous. But then, Laura and I love to live dangerously, don't we, darling? No, not necessarily. Uh, excuse me. I'm beginning to feel a little like excess baggage, so I think I'll take off. Hutch, I'll see you early in the morning, as soon as you're released. Okay. Thank you. Good, Good night, kids. Good night. Good night. something that's really going to help get me through the next through the days ahead but I was thinking about the two of you being together how happy you are that really means a lot to me well think how happy it makes us yeah yeah we're really we're really lucky listen i'm going to be coming i'm going to keep in touch with you you know i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna come up there and hang out <laughs> Great, we'll play some tennis or something. Good <laughs> idea. Yes. Now this is the attitude to have. Keep that D'Artagnan smile going, pal, because you got you got a trial ahead. It'll be, it's going to work out. It will, I know. Thank you. Well, hell of a storm out there. Yeah, it seems to be getting worse. I think maybe the uh, two of you should cut out before you get caught in it. Well. I'm afraid uh, two of us already got caught in it. Oh, Luke, I'm glad I saw you. I have a message for you. For me? Okay. You're to call Alexandria Quartermain at her office. Yes, yeah, thank you. Well, your job never ends, does it? Well, you know, financial genius at a uh, 24-hour job. Is that what you are? Mm. They don't call me the wolf cub of Wall Street for nothing, wolf, wolf, wolf. I don't think you're wolf. I think you're sheep in wolf's clothing. Do you? Save your judgment, would you? Excuse me, I have a phone call. You ready, Laura? Uh, yes, I'd just like to go to the ladies' room for a minute. 
Sure. Take your time. Excuse me. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Well, have you uh, thought any more about that business proposal of mine? When do you suppose I might be able to get an answer from you? Maybe very soon, Robert. Maybe even later tonight. Wonderful. And I hope the answer is yes, Luke. I think we'd make a formidable team together. One never knows. Excuse me? Mr. George, would you mind if I use the phone for a local call? It doesn't take too long. I won't promise it won't take too long. Thank you. Help yourself. Good night, Luke. Good night. Good night. There you go, Luke.